Tomb Town servers have had many species ranging from many servers. New ones, some remade ones, the amount of them that exist are crazy and they are pretty interesting to see them in a new game with some newer species. Today though, I'd like to personally rank every tune from every Toon Town server from worst to best. Now there's going to be a few exceptions here to this list as I will not be ranking any scrap tunes so I apologize to the chipmunk and also I won't rank the redone ODS cow because it's planned so I guess we can revisit that for another video but until that one's released I'm not gonna rank that one. Hi everyone future Anthony here so as I was making this video the cow tunes did release so I will sure in the cow tune here but I really do not feel like re-recording everything uh, for all my placements, so I'll just squeeze them in somewhere in the video. And there's also the Event Horizon ones that, you know, are still not out yet, so maybe in a future video we can rank those ones. But for now, we're going to be ranking everyone from every Toontown server that's released. So coming in at dead last at number 49, the tune that I think is my least favorite out of all of them is the ODS Deer. I normally haven't been negative really when it comes to Operation Desert Storm all that much, but I will say with its Deers, they are terrible. It is indeed one of the worst newer tunes out of every new Toontown server. Its design just doesn't look good in general, and the alternate designs don't look any better. This is just a really poorly designed Deer, and out of all the servers who have made one, this is the worst out of the four. Also, the noise it makes is so weird, I would have never associated it with the Deer, it just sounds incredibly bad. I've heard they wanted to remake this one like how they did with their cows, and the cow remake looks pretty good so far, so if they ever get around to making a new deer tune, I'd love to see that, but for now, with the one we have, this one's just probably the worst out of the bunch. I apologize for being a little harsh with this tune, but overall, this one just isn't that great. 48. Project Altus Raccoon. This isn't any better, but considering three other Toontown servers haven't already done this design, it's just slightly better. However, this model does suck. It looks like a panda bear, if anything, than a raccoon, and the alternate designs, again, are aren't good and overall just kind of looks pretty bad. I'm really glad that they did not stick to these designs with Clash because going forward, it doesn't get any better with these Project Altus tunes. 47. Project Altus Fox. Remember when Toon Time Written had thousands of votes for Fox only for it to lose the deer and croc somehow? I have no clue how that happened either. Despite everyone thinking the idea of a Fox tune was dumb, Project Altus flocked to everyone's aid and making their own and... It looks terrible. The muzzle just looks a little too big or a little too off to make it look good, and on top of that, the head just does not look all that great either. I can admire the fact it has a little bit of charm to the design, but it doesn't look good when Smoke and Foreman made a joke fox tune himself, and in some aspects, it does look a little better than the fox in Altus. More so it's muzzle, but still, this just does not look good. It looks like they only added it because Toon Time Written wasn't, and that they wanted to capitalize off that whole fox craze in 2016. Number 46, Project Altus D second revision. You can ask anyone and everyone can agree this is just a terrible looking tune. It also does not help that this was a remake of what they released in 2016 and they somehow made it even worse. As much as we like to joke about the other one, at least it looked a little better. This just looks chunky and odd to look at. Technically this is a better designed deer but I do not like it at all. Sure it has better ears and antlers but I would take the first version any day. This one sucks. Number 45, Tuniversal Hedgehog. I don't know why I said I like this tune at first but this is just not really that good of a design. Look, I know a tune can sound good in your head, maybe even good on paper when drawing it out, and even the design could have some potential, but when you actually model it and put it in the game, it could look not that great. Like, this could have been better. They did say this was a work in progress model, only they never really updated it all that much, and it doesn't even look that good. The muzzle looks bad, along with that creepy smile Tuniversal tunes have for some reason. His ears aren't great at all, and the spikes are just on a whole nother level of a mess. This isn't my favorite tune by any means, and it's kind of a shame they never approved on this model because if they did he could have been a little better and I could have possibly liked it but oh well this was also ranked much higher originally but then I realized I'm being too generous because there's other tunes better than the hedgehog 44 project altus beaver this is only above hedgehog because it looks a little better and not a polygon mess other than that this one's not really my favorite either the beaver always looked goofy to me and not in a good way I just never really liked this one number 43 project altus deer first version say what you will it's a bad model and yeah, you're right, but it has some charm to it that I do like. It's miles better than the remake they did, but the original version was always sort of a guilty pleasure for me, even though it was kind of bad. 
Number 42, the Project Altus Alligator. This one looks okay, but there was always something a little off about this model I never really liked. I always thought the Toontime Rewritten one had a better croc model, and I know this is an alligator, but it's practically the same thing. They only did this to be different. Isn't that right, Altus? Number 41, Project Altus Bat. Out of all of the tunes, this is surprisingly the best one out of the whole bunch, which says a lot because I only find this model to be just okay. Number 40, Clash Beaver's first version. Now, we're in Clash territory. Okay, so technically, when Clash Clash released and redid the beaver, it looked better, but I wouldn't call this good exactly. Personally, it just didn't look all that great, and everyone can kinda agree, considering anyone who talked about this tune before its change all said it looked pretty bad. <laughs> I hate the my beaver brother. looks so stupid! Whoever modeled its head must have hated the species. It even looks depressed to exist. I'm gonna have to agree on that one, though. Number 39, Clash Fox first version. Yeah, this was also another one I was never that huge of a fan of when it released. Like, I get it, it was trying hard to make it look a lot better and revised it for Maltus, but we weren't fully there with the fox yet. It still looked kind of weird here. Say what you will about foxes, but when they were initially revealed here, they looked kind of ugly. Number 38, Tuniversal Deer. It is technically better than the ODS and Project Altus Deer, but it doesn't really say a lot because because this deer has a really creepy smile staring into your soul for some reason. Other than that, he's just an okay deer. Number 37, Clash Mouse. Uh-oh, I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but in my personal opinion, the mouse model in Clash is just the worst out of all of the tunes. It's not that great of a remake, and it always looked really weird to me, this version of it. Number 36, Clash Armadillo. Again, two very low Clash tunes, and I understand people will hate me for saying this, but who really uses Armadillo? I think they're okay, but I would never really make an Armadillo tune. It's also just kind of a weird tune to make. I say this, but I also voted for Team Outback. But he is higher than some of these other picks because of the model is fine, and he's more unique of a tune, but I just really wouldn't use him all that much. Number 35, Clash Bat's first version. Odd that I didn't like this one the most before it's changed, considering I liked the Altus one the most. Personally, they did make him a little worse here in Clash, considering while some of the muzzle choices look okay, he can look like this, and this just does not look that great. I mean, from what I remember from him being in the game, he looked alright, but I feel like the design for him here could have been better. Number 34, Clash Raccoon's first version. I know I said the other one looked like a panda, and he still does here, but he looks a lot more improved. However, as it goes on, this one was always just okay in my opinion. I'm just glad like the other Toon species, they went ahead and fixed these other Toon models in the Outback update, which we'll soon later talk about those versions. Number 33, Tooniversal Kangaroo. Out of all the new Tooniversal tunes, this is probably the best one out of all of them, because it actually looks like a decent model, but other than that, it's okay. Nothing I would personally use, though. Number 32, ODS Cow. I know I ranked this so low, and I really do like the cows compared to these other tunes here on this list, but there's just no way I can say this is better than the other tunes on this list. I think it was really cool that Operation Desert Stream was the first ever server to add cows, even though no other server can really get them in it. Number 31, Riggy Morale Bunny. He's lower on this list because while he is kind of cool with his design and more unique of a tune, he's really only just an NPC and you never really get to play him as this style. I don't think Toontime Written will ever give people this style to play, but if they did, that would be pretty Pretty cool. Number 30, Clash Turkey. He's a limited time tune, so you can only get him during certain times. So not only does this make him pretty forgettable in times in this game, but like, out of all the tunes, he's kind of the one I wouldn't really make a tune of either. The only reason why I would is because he's a limited time tune. I'm not saying he's bad, but compared to most tunes in Toontown Corporate Clash, I'd probably be using them over the turkey. Number 29, Clash Beaver. This beaver's alright, but I personally just don't like beavers in the game. They just look kinda... Eh, but it definitely does look a little better and a little more cute than the one in Altus and the one that Corporate Clash did originally. Number 28, Clash Alligator first version. I'll be honest, this one wasn't too bad when he came out and was probably the best out of all of them in terms with how he looked. Bat and Raccoon were also okay, but like, this was the best one out of all of them. Ignore what I just said in my 2019 video, this one was alright when we're talking about first versions of these tunes Clash made. Number 27, Clash Alligator. A better improvement if I do say so. It's again alright, personally I've never been the biggest crocodile person with tunes, it's never really clicked with me, but for the most part, he's an average looking tune in the game who got a better design. Number 26, Clash Kangaroo. It looks fine, and I think for the most part, the Kangaroo tune looks pretty fresh. That said, though, he does look a little creepy when he smiles, but all in all, he's a fine addition. Number 25, Clash Raccoon. It's definitely better than the one in Altus. This one looks like an actual raccoon, and I think the alt designs for him aren't too bad. It was a major improvement, I think it was really well done. 24, Clash Bunny. This is an alright model, just the 
only thing holding me back from liking this more is its muzzle, kinda. I don't know, I just really don't like it all that much. It kinda kills it all for me for liking this one more. Number 23, horse. Great, now we're actually getting to the original designs. Don't get me wrong, I like the horse a lot, but compared to every other Tune in Tune Town online, he was just my least favorite out of the bunch. Not saying I hate him, but I kinda like the other ones better. Number 22, Clash Horse. It's just the horse, but better. It has nice ears, better than just two sticks on its head, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Better ears. 21, Koala. A pretty cute choice for a tune I would have never really thought I'd see in Toontown, but for the most part, I think it's a nice and sweet addition to the game. I like the model a lot, and it's one of the better tunes we got from the Outback update. I like this one a lot. Number 20, Clash Foxes. The other one looked terrible and not that great of an attempt of foxes, and the Clash one, it kind of made the argument of why do we need fox tunes a little more stronger, but this is an actual good looking version of the fox. I think this looks really great overall, and it's just a million times better than what they had originally. Number 19, Kiwi. This is one of the best ones out of the Outback tunes. It's more unique because it has no arms, but I think this tune was a pretty good pick compared to like a regular bird or a parrot. This one works better, and it's a really good design tune. Number 18, Clash Bears. Now, despite this being slightly better than the irregular bears, I just kind of have a soft spot for the original, but this one's not a bad take on Toontown Bears. Number 17, Bears. I like the bears a lot, and even though it's my second least favorite tune in Toontown, I still really like these tunes a lot, and you can really never go wrong for picking them if you ever play the game. Number 16, Clash Ducks. I love the Toontown Ducks, and I think it's just a good remake, but I just can't say I like this more than the original. It's still the duck, and it is improved, but the OG Ducks will always be the best in my opinion. Still, not a bad remake. Number 15, Clash Bats. Now, the bats in Altus were not too bad, but the ones in Clash, I feel like they've basically perfected it. I would have never suggested this animal for Toontown ever, but I'm kind of glad it exists because I really think it's well done here. Number 14 and a half. ODS Cow, second revision. Talk about a glow up. Now this is a cow. This is basically what you call something Disney would have made all the way back in Toontown Online if this tune never got scrapped. I have to say, while this is a newer tune and I didn't really have too much time with this, I can certainly say the cow model here looks incredibly impressive. This is like Toontown written quality of how it looks. My only major problem with it is just its voice is still a little weird. <laughs> and the icon could be better, but other than that, it's still a really impressive looking tune. As much as I'd like to rank this tune higher, I just unfortunately can't, but it's still an impressive looking tune. I like it a lot. Number 14, Monkeys. The Monkeys were always a tune I never really picked, but I also liked a lot in the game. They do have some weird styles, but at the end of the day, you really can't hate on this tune since it's a really good design and pick for the game. Number 13, Clash Monkeys. I don't know what it is, but I just slightly like this compared to the original. Maybe it's just the Clash flair they gave it to them, but this one really works a lot for them. Number 12, Crocodiles. When these tunes were shown off in Toon Fest, I knew I was really gonna like them a lot, and I was right. They're awesome. Toon Time Rewritten not only perfected the model for them, but how they sounded just sounded spot on to what I expect from a new tune species. This was just a really well done new tune from Toon Time Rewritten. Number 11, Bunnies. The original bunnies are just adorable, and I'm kind of amazed that Toon Ten Online gave them a voice that's actually really fitting for them. I also just really like this animal in general, so it's kind of high on this list as well. Number 10, Pigs. Another tune choice I like a lot, but I can't really say much other than it's just another favorite of mine. Number 9, Clash Cats. I used to not like this one, but considering my tune is a cat, I kind of had to get used to him, and yeah, it's not that bad. Sure, the muzzle's a little odd in my opinion, but I kind of like the design overall, and it's definitely grown on me as time went on. I think it's actually pretty good. Number 8, Clash Pigs. Yes, this is the definitive pig in the game. I think the ears and muzzles have both been really improved along with its head. It makes for the ultimate pig in Toontown. Number 7, Mouses. I have a story with them. I never really cared for them, but in Toontown Infinite, I for some reason didn't remake Anthon, but I made a cream mouse and progressed through the whole game as him, and it's kinda why I grew to like the mouse a lot more. I always liked them, but having a mouse too made me like them just that much more. Alright, so this next one is going to be the Deers. Now both Toontown Rewritten, and Toontown Corporate Clash. However, who did it better? Toontown Rewritten has one that's really good looking and just looks like something pretty close to the original. And then there's Corporate Clash that also has a really good design deer, but it took them a couple of tries for them to get that perfect deer for them. Now, while they're both really good, this one might be a little shocking to who I put at number six. Number six, Toontown Rewritten Deers. Yep. 
I don't know if this is a controversial take to say, but the Toontown Corporate Clash Deer is just way better. You can really go either way on this tune, but this one was just so close to being perfect. This is a really good and well-designed deer in Toontown, and it feels exactly what Disney would make. It looks great, and all of the alts look amazing. Now, the only reason why I didn't rank this better than the Clash Deer was its god-annoying voice. I'm sorry, but whoever decided to give the deers a whiny and higher voice should be fired, because it is just more annoying than cat tunes. <laughs> It is a very good model, and I think the tune in general is just one of my favorites with Toontown. And while, yeah, the voice is annoying, I could definitely just mute it, but I really cannot rank this a 10 out of 10 because of its voice that I'm not too much of a fan of. Still, the Toontown we written Deers are still one of the best newer tunes out there in Toontown servers. Number 5, Ducks. Ducks are just great as an animal, but as a tune, they are just amazing. This is literally the most perfect duck a duck can get, and I just really love it all. If you can't tell, I love ducks. Number 4, Clash Deers. This is the deer that reigns supreme out of all of them. It's perfect. The designs, the alts to them, the voice is an actual fitting voice for the deer. This is the best new tune species out of every new one here. It's just awesome. Number 3, Cats. Ah, you guys thought this would be number 1, but you were wrong. I love cats and I'll always have my tune as a cat. This is just a really good design tune for the game. And yes, it's associated to being an annoying tune in the game, but cats have always just been a personal favorite of mine. I was never even going to make a cat tune, but when I just picked the random generator and I ended up with the green cat with the long head design, it just kind of stuck with me ever since. Number 2, Clash Dogs. This is the best remake out of all the tunes in Clash, as they really perfected the dogs in the game. Just everything about the dog in Clash just works well, and I really like how it looks. I even like how the ear colors look with them. I know every tune has them, but unlike every other species, it works the best for dogs and all the NPCs who are dogs like Flippy and Lord Loud and Clear. All of them just look really good in this design. This dog design in Clash is just basically perfection. And this leads us to our number one, Dogs. This is my favorite tune in Toontown. Call it basic for it to be my favorite, and even though I've never even had a dog tune, I just really love the dogs in this game. I feel like any dog tune you make, you'll always be satisfied playing as it. Every cool NPC in the game is just a dog, and personally, dogs have always been the tune to associate Toontown with. Dogs are the best, hands down. So yeah, that basically ranks all of them, and let me know if I should do this with other things with the game. Anyways, that's it. Bye, y'all.